Hey everyone, Chang here. This is the skill building video series. For today's topic, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines in relation to solving basically linear equations. Now, when they talk about parallel lines, remember the concept of parallel lines are basically two lines that continue on forever and never cross. Now, the only way that two lines can actually continue on forever and never cross is if they have the same slope. Remember that the slope is the change in y over the change in x. They must be changing exactly in the same ratio of y over x for them to never cross. So that's the key. Parallel means same slope. Now, perpendicular is a little different. Perpendicular means that two lines cross at a 90 degree angle. So a 90 degree angle, two lines cross at a 90 degree angle. So what that means is that rather than them having the same slope, what you actually have to do if they give you the slope is that you know it's going to be the negative reciprocal. So what does that mean? That means, for example, if you have one fourth as the slope, the negative reciprocal is the negative version, which is going to be negative, and then reciprocal means you flip it over. Whatever's on the bottom is going to be on top. Whatever's on top is going to be on the bottom. So the negative reciprocal of one fourth is actually just negative four over one. So that's for perpendicular. So whenever you see the word perpendicular in relation to finding the equation of a line, you know that it's going to be the negative reciprocal of whatever slope they've just given you. So let's practice. All right, so for our first problem and our second problem, actually, we're going to use exactly the same information. Now, what do I mean by that? We're still going to use this equation, y equals 2 over 3x plus 5. And we want to find another line that either is parallel to this line and passes through this point, or for the second problem, we're going to do perpendicular and pass through this point as well. Now, remember, for parallel, it means that the slope is exactly the same. So here we have y equals 2 over 3x plus 5. That is our slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So this is going to be our m, mx plus, and this is our b. Now, b is not as important, m is the most important part. Right? m is the slope. In this case, the slope is going to be 2 over 3. Since we're trying to find a line that's parallel to this line right here and passes through this point, that means we know our slope for that line is going to be 2 over 3 as well. Now, what do we have? We have our slope and we have a point that we want to pass. So, here is a formula that actually goes for that situation, right? It's called the point slope form, you know, by the name. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where y1 and x1 is the coordinates of that given point. In this case, it's going to be the negative 4 and 1. Well, our 1 is the y coordinate, so 1 is going to be filled out right here. And our negative 4, this is a minus, so it's going to be a plus 4 in this situation. Everything else is the same. So what do we have? We have y. Let me see if I can write that so you can see it. y minus 1 equals, and our slope is going to be 2 over 3, because once again, it's parallel, same slope, 2 over 3, times x plus 4. Okay, there it is. Now, we can just basically either leave it at that, and if they want you to simplify it to make it sure that it is slope intercept form, then we can work with that. So let's just do that. y minus 1 equals... 2 over 3 x plus 4. I'm just rewriting it. And then first and foremost, I'm going to distribute this right here into the parentheses. So what we have is going to be y minus 1 equals 2 over 3 x plus 4 times 2 over 3 is 8 over 3. Okay. Lastly, we're just going to add the 1 on both sides. So that means y equals 2 over 3x plus, and then 1 is just 3 over 3 plus 8 over 3 is going to be 11 over 3. And so this line right here will be parallel to this line and it will pass through this point. Now, once again, same information except for we changed the problem a little. So we have our 
line right here, we have our slope, we have our intercept, it's gonna be passing through the same point, and we're gonna use this, the point slope form, because it's actually very useful to solving a lot of these. The only difference is that we're actually looking for a line that's now gonna be perpendicular. Remember, parallel, same slope. Perpendicular is not the same slope. Perpendicular is the negative reciprocal. Therefore, we still need this slope, but we're gonna find the negative reciprocal of it. So, the original slope is two over three. Negative, well, negative sign. Reciprocal means that what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the top to bottom and bottom to top. So three is gonna be up and two is gonna be at the bottom. So it's gonna be three over two. That is our new slope that we're gonna be working with. Now, we have a point and we have a slope. That's why we still need this point slope form. Well, in that case, we're gonna have y minus, and then our y1 coordinate is just basically the y coordinate of the given point. In this case, it's gonna be one. So it's gonna subtract one equals, and our slope is gonna be negative three over two times x minus, and in this case, because it's a minus four, or negative four, you're gonna add four. There it is, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite it right here, and then we're gonna go through the same thing. We're gonna to try to simplify it so that it becomes slope-intercept form, the most common form of a line, and that will be our answer. So I just rewrote it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna distribute this slope inside these parentheses, so it's gonna be y minus one equals negative three over two x plus, and then this one, the two is gonna cancel out with a two left over, so that's gonna be negative six, right? Yeah, negative three over two times four is negative six. So technically it's gonna be plus negative six or minus six, your choice. Afterwards, we're gonna add one on both sides. So what we're gonna have is gonna be y equals negative three over two x. Negative six plus one is just negative five or just minus five in this case. And this right here is gonna be our line that is passing through this point, negative four comma one, and perpendicular to this original line. All right, so we have this right here. This is our original line. We're gonna to try to find another line that's gonna be parallel to this original line that passes through the point of negative one comma negative six. Now I wrote this right here, ax plus by equals c. This is the format for standard form. You're gonna see some line equation that looks like this. Well, this right here. All right, we have our ax, in this case, it's gonna be our invisible one in front of the x, it's gonna be our ax, 4y is gonna be our by, and eight is our c. Now, what's the good use of standard form? It's very useful when you're trying to solve system of equations, but in this case, it's really not all that useful for us because the problem with standard form is that it doesn't immediately give us the slope. We actually have to find the slope because, well, I mean, we're trying to find a line that's parallel and we need slope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to convert this line right here into slope intercept form. Once we convert it to slope intercept form, we can solve it like normal. I don't have to ramble. You guys would have gotten it. All right, so let's do this. First we have, let's write, rewrite it, x plus four y equals eight. Subtract the x on both sides. This goes away. We have four y equals negative x plus eight. Divide by four on both sides. And remember, when you divide by four on this side, make sure you divide into the two components, right? You have the minus x and the eight as well. So don't just divide like that and mess it up. Make sure you guys divide properly. Y equals negative one over four x. Now, some of you guys might have a negative x over four, which is entirely fine. I just write it like this because it's a lot easier to see the slope. And then it's gonna be plus eight divided by four is two. So this equation right here, even though drastically different, is exactly the same equation right here, right? We just manipulate. This is our slope intercept form. Love it because we have our slope. This one, we really didn't have much. Now, once again, we're looking for parallel. So from here on, you guys got it.
Thank you for watching this video on finding either the parallel or perpendicular line of a given line passing through a specific point. See you in the next one.